and from a vision's perspective and the reason I'm speaking like this because today in the morning he told me he's already here he's come to Kenya please hear me you don't need to say you are weak amen your amen does not come for anything I'm telling you what the Lord has set out to do for his namesake your belief system does not count in that record God has willed to offer judgment for this land without or with your participation so you participate by your own will but even though you don't God has set out to do a great wonder over this land mark my word so Jesus came to Micah of during the reigns of Jotham Ahaz and Hezekiah so Micah existed Micah saw three reigns three kings in his time as a prophet the first one was Ahaz no Jotham the second Ahaz the, sec the third Hezekiah kings of Judah so his 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 office spoke for three kings do you see the name kings there Christians focus focus do you see the name kings there huh it means God is intentional about kingdoms. God's intentional about who is running what. It's God's intention to know. And God set out Micah, and I pray that such prophets will be in our days. Prophets that have a grace that is kingly, that they can stand and say, Oh king, hear the word of the Lord. Jesus Christ came to me in a vision, and he told me to tell you this right there. And if you don't do this, you will go down like your fathers. That's the authority that this Micah had. The vision he saw was concerning Samaria and Jerusalem. The vision was concerning nations. The kind of teaching we need today is not someone. The kind of teaching that we need in this body of Christ at this time that we are in should be from time. Understanding the time. Many of us as preachers, we are teaching what we think. We are not yet checking the times and understanding what has God set out to do at what time. That's what the Lord was telling me in the morning. Do you understand the time? And I say, Lord, I don't. Help me. And the Lord began to show me how many people are just preaching. If you listen to most preachers, they're just, oh, how the Lord will lift you. How the Lord will change you. <laughs> Let me tell you, God now is not about, he's not lifting men. God is changing nations. God is in the nations. If, hear me, if you do not have a national view, God will not use you. What God is set out to do, and I can tell you, and you can see in the nations of the world. And I will show you something here that the Lord showed me today. God is interested in the nations. And the body of Christ is interested in ministry. So you see, leaders misbehaving. Because Micah is not there for God to give a national vision. Everyone is just praying for their children. Of how my children will be blessed. How God will give me rent. I showed you that Jesus Christ, the Bible says, the son of man, the son of man, has nowhere to rest his head. Jesus was never bothered by rent. Even if I don't have anywhere to rest my head, I guarantee you, I will, in the night, an angel will come and give me shade. And manna will be sent from heaven and I will not need money to buy. All I need to do is to eat the food of angels and walk for 40 days. Try eating your ugali and walk for two hours. Try it. Try eating chips and see how long you can walk. This man ate a certain type of food. 40 days. You stand here in prayer for two minutes. I always see you. Stand up. 
Remena se feu. The man walked 40 days. It means there is something he discovered in God that was beyond his own life. The vision was concerning Samaria and Jerusalem. I will tell you Samaria and Jerusalem according to what the Lord has shown me. But I will not tell you by names. I will tell you by location. This vision that I'm speaking today is concerning the east and the west. The wise decoded. Verse 2. Hear, O peoples, all of you, listen, O earth and all who are. Did you hear the word is all? Doesn't matter your religion, doesn't matter you believe in Jesus, you don't. We are telling you. Your religion does not count here. Your God does not count here. All the people of the earth, all who are in need, that the sovereign Lord may witness against you, the Lord from his holy temple. Verse 3. Can you read there? What's the first word? What's the first word? What's the first word? Did you notice it's all? It's not for Christians. It's any person that is a human being. He said, look, the Lord is coming from his dwelling place. He's coming. Can you hear me? Uh, you will hear wars and rumors of wars. But when the Lord decides to step forward, no army will stand. All your military weapons will bow at his arrival. Don't worry. Wait and see. If what we speak is the truth, you shall see it come to pass. He comes down and trades the high places of the earth. Those high places, the cities that are known, the nations that are known to be superpower. He treads upon them. He stands upon them. And they are weak in his presence. Verse 4. The mountains melt beneath him. And the valleys split apart. Like wax before the fire. You know what it means like wax? You know what wax is? If you take a candle. Candle. And put that candle in fire. You notice the solidness of that candle becomes melted and how solid it is. It's until fire is involved that you will know wax is weak. So the strongest things you have built are like wax to God. All he needs to do is to bring fire and you begin to realize the strongest businesses we have are about wax to Like water rushing down a slope. Verse 5. All this is because of Jacob's transgression. Because of the sins of the house of Israel. What is Jacob's transgression? Is it not Samaria? Do you remember Jesus spoke about this nation called Samaria? Is there any one time Jesus went to Samaria? Do I have Bible students here? Where, when was Jesus in Samaria? Is there a story concerning Christ in Samaria? Tell me the story. Do you remember the Samaritan woman? She was in Samaria. This place was so dear to God that when Jesus came, he had to step foot on Samaria and found a Samaritan woman. What is Judah's high place? 
Kenya, what is your high place? State house. That's your high place. It will melt. When God stands from heaven, he will know you have no armies. No nations of this world have an army. Verse 6. Therefore, I will make Samaria a heap of rubble to place for planting vineyards. I will pour her stones unto the valley and lay bare her foundation. It means what you have considered as strong nations. It will become just a place to plant. And if the nations of the world do not correct their errors, sooner than later, you'll be forgotten. The Lord Christ from Zion, bring me back and let me be God of earth. You have tried to build without me. The question is, how far have you gone? 